Then Sam predicts the western call. In this lecture, we are discussing an example for the UML component diagram. We are discussing the online shopping systems component diagram. So, my dear students, in the last lecture, we had discussed what is a component diagram. A component diagram describes the organization and wiring of the physical components in a system. The component diagrams are often drawn with the helps to model the implementation details and double check that every aspect of the system required functions is covered by the planning and development phase of the program. So my dear students, let us discuss the different components associated or the different notations associated with a component diagram. Firstly, we are discussing the term component. A component is a logical unit block of the system, a slightly higher abstraction than the class. It is represented as a rectangle with smaller rectangles in the upper right corner with the tabs or the word written above the name of the component to help distinguish it from a class. So this component is mentioned like this. The component is mentioned like a rectangle with a smaller rectangle in the upper right corner with the tabs. So next notation is the interface. An interface describes a group of operations used. So those operations are the required or requested operations and these requested operations are provided or created by other components. A full circle represents the interface created or provided by the component and a semicircle represents the required or requested interface. So this is represented by the diagram shown in this figure. A full circle represents the interface provided or created and a semicircle represents a required or requested interface. So next we are representing the dependencies. The dependencies are represented with the help of dashed or dotted arrows. So this dependency means a component is depending upon another component or a term is depending upon another term. So these dependencies are represented by dotted arrows. And the next notation is the port. Port are represented using square along the edge of a system or a component. And a port is often used to help expose the required and provided interface of a component. So now we are going to discuss about our example. Our example is online shopping interface. So we are going to represent the diagram for this or the component diagram for this online shopping portal. So first of all, we are describing the component named product detail. So if we are going through an online website, we can see different components. All these components like product detail, online shopping carts, payment portals, all these are independent components. Our first component associated with online shopping is a product detail component and this component is represented with a component symbol. So this component is dependent upon the actor named customer. So the product component is interfacing with the customer here. The component product is providing the interface, thus a full circle is shown with the side of the product detail component and the customer is requesting this interface, that's why we are representing a semicircle. So next, the relationship between this request and required component is login. So the interface between these two is login process. So now we are moving to the another component termed product warehouse. Product warehouse and the product detail component has a relation. So there also exists an interface. Product warehouse is providing the interface towards the product detail. So product detail is receiving the interface from the component termed product warehouse. And the different relation is admin add product towards the warehouse and from this warehouse database these details are reflected in the product detail website. So now we are moving to the shopping cart. 
Shopping cart is also depending upon the product detail component. Product detail is providing service towards the shopping cart and shopping cart is receiving that particular interface. And the receiving or the mode of operation is a customer can add particular data or particular details or particular products towards the shopping cart by selecting through the product detail component. So now we are moving to the order book component. So when a particular shopping cart is filled, a customer can proceed towards ordering that particular set of products. So the shopping cart is providing interface towards the order book. Here the interface is the order book is depending upon the shopping cart. That is the order is depending upon the shopping cart. Once the customer had selected the shopping cart or selected the product towards the shopping cart, those items are added or those items are built towards the order book. So the building process is done based upon the shopping cart of a particular customer product. So now we are moving to the next component termed order system. So this order system is in relationship or is in interface between the order book. So the interface relation is ordering. So while the building process is completed, this particular order book can move towards the order system mechanism and the order system is also depending upon the product warehouse when we are selecting and booking and ordering a particular set of product those set of products are reflected in the product warehouse database that is we have to adjust those set of items with the product warehouse database and next we are moving towards the system known as banking system here this system is in interface with this online shopping system and these two independent systems are in contact thus we can mention that there is a payment portal and these two systems has independent ports by this port we are connecting an interface so this is how we are representing a component diagram of a online shopping web portal. So many students hope you had understood this topic. So dear students in this lecture we had discussed a component diagram. A component diagram describes the organization and wiring of the physical components in a system and the component diagrams are often drawn to help model implementation details and double check that every aspect of the system requirement functions are covered by planned development. So many students, different notations available in a component diagram is component, then dependency, port, and interface. So my dear students, hope you had understood this topic. So dear students, kindly go through this assignment question. Our question is, draw the UML component diagram for online banking system. So my dear students, in the upcoming lecture, we will discuss the deployment diagram. So dear students, see you soon. Until then, goodbye. Thank you and all the best.